In this video, we play the skink. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. The skink is finally here. It's in the British Tech Tree. This is a Canadian-born SPAA that sits on the Sherman Hull and Gaijin, for some reason, have put it at 4.7. Now, this guy only has 42 millimeters of penetration using its APT belts. It has no explosive filler. And that means that things like Russian T-34s from the side are pretty much unkillable. You run into a KV-1, you're going to end up with issues. And you can face all the way up to Tiger 1s and Panthers as well. Now, of course, this isn't a tank hunter, right? It's an anti-air. But it's not very good at doing that either. Sure, if enemy planes get close to you, you'll absolutely rip them to shreds with the HG belt. But when it comes to range, these 20mm are actually very slow firing. That's velocity-wise, not a rate of fire which makes it really difficult to hit. Even bombers that are 4 kilometers up, your rounds will start falling back down to earth before it'll even reach them. You'll see that later on in the gameplay. The good news is though, you're a Sherman, so when it comes to enemy aircraft taking you in a head-on, and that will often happen, they have absolutely no chance at pinning your armor here on the turret at least. There's a little bit of a weakness here, but there's not very many aircraft that can punch that, so you're pretty lucky in that department. Basically what you have is a great SPAA for very small cramped maps such as Advanced to the Rhine etc. But for maps where Cass is a little bit further away and harder to touch, it's pretty miserable. What isn't miserable however is the Auto Plushie. It's met its goal, we're at 320 sold so far. If we get to 400 I'm going to do a giveaway on Discord. I only do giveaways on Discord through my own account. All these little weird scammer bots that are appearing in the comments box are scammers, they're not me. If you want to get involved in giveaways for Auto Plushy, then you need to be over on my Discord channel. If we hit the 400 required, I will do a Discord giveaway for an Auto Plushy and some signed things by me and also some other goodies. So if you want to get your hands on a little plushy, now's your last chance today and tomorrow. Now the form of this video is going to be quite unusual, well, unusual for an Oddboss video. I'm going to show you two good games I had with this thing where we took on some planes. I actually took a tank out as well because I felt like it was letting my team down. And then I'm going to show you highlights of wins and fails towards the end of the video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's get into battle. Right, here's our plan, right? No one's spawning planes for some reason. I get like one or two a game and it's kind of boring. So we're going to rush in with the Avenger. We'll spawn our skink and we'll just get into the middle of the town. If the skink had... Slightly better pen, 50 mil even, it would be at least usable, but against Russia, not so good. We have 42 mil a pen, they have 45 mils of armor, and we can't shoot their barrels out either. So not not great. We have IS-1s and KV-85s coming our way. That was a people or something. Right. So we got one vehicle. Our team's moving up. Let's go on the skink and see if anyone will spawn an aircraft. Please somebody spawn a plane. Right, here comes a plane. It's a PEA. So I can't my rounds can't go far enough to hit him. Yeah, they're about a kilometer short. Yeah, we, they're falling before they get to them. They're just far too slow in velocity. And his bomb's out now. Maybe I can hit the bomb. Okay. That's about the, the only good I can do at the minute. But my teammate's struggling with a heavy tank here. Oh no. A man with a hat has just perished. And that looks like a Tizma coming. Yak 3P.
Okay, that guy made a huge mistake. And here comes our Tizma. Hopefully he didn't get his bombs off. He did. Come on, Tiger. Okay, he's Tiger's safe. Right, we killed two aircraft because they were flying in a straight line. We just gotta wait again. I don't have much AP rounds, but I don't think they're much help. Other than hitting things far away. Here come two more planes. We're the only spa in the game right now, so... Right, one high, one low. Little Baba plane. And this guy is... Flying in a straight line as well. Fly wing. Where's the baby boy at? We are dead. That's unfortunate. I'll spawn another one, see if we can take him out. He's gonna kill that Typhoon. In fact, I think the Typhoon's blown himself up. Was that a revenge kill? He has problems. I think I has engine actually. But look how slow these rounds are, dude. Right, okay. Here comes the P8. Low pass, dude. No pilot snipe, and here comes the bomb. I had that bomb several times. I think it may have to be AP. Let's see. It's so dusty. I hit him again. Yeah, I'm sad that didn't blow up his bomb, right? Here comes another plane. So, if the aircraft are close enough to us, it's actually pretty decent. But so is any other SPA, right? Right, the P8 is crashed. Be honest, it's for him. It's good news. And it looks like we've dwindled the enemy spawn points down by shooting our aircraft out of the sky. It's a Chica. He just threw his bombs off. Oh my. My rear is exposed quite bit badly. Yeah, bring him to me then. He knows. He's going for the the duck now. Got a new bill in here. But we have tracks and an engine, so we're moving forwards. Look at this. Duck and weave, look at him. Okay, he's no rudder. May I actually crash like that? Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Go away. So hard to hit. Right now, now he's got no elevator. <laughs> no elevator, no rudder. That's going to be an assist, right? Yeah. Okay, we got his pilot too. There's a heavy tank all the way down there. Right, I absolutely cannot damage a T-3457. I can track him. Oh, I got his barrel. Kinda. That won't take him long to repair, though. Oh, 
thank you, teammate. Come and shot me from behind. Oh, from the side? Oh, it was from behind. Oh, I didn't see him. There he's covered in bushes. Another T-34, right? <laughs> right, okay. I think we've got this game, though. We got four planes. And we shot a P-8 bomb down, so... That's kind of cool. Right, hopefully we're against USA. No, we're actually not. It's uh, Russia, Japan, Italy, France. Not very cast heavy nations, but we'll see what happens. We just hold W. If we die, we die. We're here for skink anyway. Seen somebody cross here already. Oh. It was a T-34 actually. And an ISU-152. That's the T-34 from before. He's on a fill up here. Oh, I'm actually upset that I never killed him. Let's see if we can see this KB. He's dead. I don't know what I was thinking there. It was just not a good shot. Oh, a plane! If he kills me, awesome. We'll just get in a skink. Hey, a big fella. Too bad, so sad. That's what they say, right? Bit low again. 800, right? I got his track that time, so he's not been able to move. Reaches out. Let's hit him in the front hole. This plane keeps swinging by to get me. Oh, 57. Non-penetration. We are dead, for sure. He also non-penned me. We've got similar reloads, so... I think he had a stupid overlap on armor as, as well. Wait, I, uh, I really want to deal with these planes soon. We'll keep bonking where we can. Yeah, big man. Oh. That was a bad miss on his bomb. A bad miss from my cannon as well. He's coming back around, is he? Steeper dive. He's not going to get me like that. This guy will, though. I'm the expert at juking aircraft. Another silly non-pen. Okay, we got each other. Right, it's a it's, uh, skinky time. Let me in, dude, let me in. We better go this side. Even though we're exposed to danger. They're both on their way out. I don't know where the third one is, he's probably gone back to rearm. Oh, here he comes. I think we'll get this guy first if I can. There's a wing gone for him. And the other two are outbound. Probably rearming as well, right? It looks like we did enough damage that our teammates have got a good footing on the map. And that's never a bad thing. Who's there? No verbal wind, go away. He's gonna start shooting planes three miles away and chasing them off. What is that? A yak? Right. 
Well, one less plane that we can shoot down. No, Werbo! He is hitting him, to be fair. Got a couple of hits on him. I actually have the wrong rounds loaded for this. We're taking out an IL-2, we got him still anyway. And the other guy is out of here. I've got to get away from this edge. Yeah, I hear him too, then. He cut his engine. Bubba girl. Pretty big boy. You are... Shitting machine guns at the wrong tank. <laughs> right, he's coming back around. I want a fresh belt. I think that Werbo got beat up quite a bit. Werbo got him. Kinda. I can't compete with a Werbo Wind. We're just not the same level. And that's a BR lower. Far better than us. See we see any open tops. KV85 or KV1S. Uh Nothing we can damage. Another KV-1 up top is now tracked. I just really hope this bubble wind doesn't start shooting at this airplane really far away. I hear the ZIS-12 coming. Uh oh. Well, we won't have a problem with the bubble wind anymore. That'll be for sure. What is this? Is that the Swede? Another Werbo is here. No depression. Oh, it's a BB one. Okay. Did I not kill a promo guy in a BB one already? Must have been two different guys. And here comes another plane. I did see another... Oh, it's that thing. Marty BG. And where's this plane coming from? I see him. He must have saw the 110. So, this is either the IL-2 from before or the Swedish thing. Job 110. I see him. I see him. It's an IL. And there's a buffalo on him. And the buffalo's taking him in a head on. That was not a good idea. He'll feel that. Wait, there's some arty on that cap. Watch on that. I don't just play it very safe. Oh, it was the guy who was in the Werbo wind that's just died. And I want in. No planes. Oh, this guy's respawned another 110. He's gonna die to the IL2 again. He did kill a KB, which is great. There's actually a guy near our spawn here. Okay, he's gone too. But 110 turned into him, why? I'll get one shot at this guy before he goes full passive. Okay, good. And here comes a Shika. We're losing quite drastically now. 
that oh there are five planes though it's just the fact that we need to get them close is the problem here he comes a little guy he's coming in low They get killed. Our 105 got him. Right, AP bells. I doubt we're going to see very many more planes unless we get kills on enemies. The T-34 in the distance. I can't even take this guy's track. He bounced on me. Okay, the Sherman got him. And here comes another T-34 and something else. I'm gonna use this opportunity to kind of push. No, no planes. Oh, here we go. That'll be a potes, right? I gotta set up in a good spot where I can stop him from carpet bombing, eh? Here it comes. Don't scare him off, M13. He's already dropped his bombs. Is he coming for a strafing run now? He tried to bomb me, but it's not worked out. And he actually didn't get anybody, which is obviously very good news. Okay, other T 34's dead. I need to help this M22. He got him! Well done, dude. Right, we got two more enemies. Four more. They help this guy. Right, Chief. You're welcome. And another plane is coming in. It's a PA. We're on bomb watch. Actually, the best thing I can do here is shoot this guy's bomb down as it comes in. And then send them back to the airfield. It's going to take them a long time. Let's keep an eye on it. If he drops it towards me, we're in good good luck, dude. <laughs> Actually going to try and bait him to do it. I don't normally recap cap points because it's pointless but if he if he bombs me it means nothing I hit the bomb but nothing happened got it that's exactly what we want and a KB2 is now guarding the cap Right, let me get some more air belts in this. I think it doesn't take very long to rearm. I might get shot though, is the only thing. Nice. Oh no. My teammate is flanked. It's a heavy tank. I want to see if I can harass it. We got four minutes to get a, a lead in tickets. Look at the size of this hole. Um, we're only two tickets behind. The Sherman might die. What's my teammate shooting at? Oh, a T3. We can kill that. And an FL. I 
can't damage this guy's barrel. And here comes the T3. Oh, damn. That teammate on B is dead. This is not good. I need to run over here. He's got good reload, this thing, though. Yeah, he got my engine. I can't pen him from the front. We can get him from the side, though. He got his cannon breach, apparently. It said I got his cannon breach, but it doesn't look like it. KV2 still can't make it over here. Hey, you got me. Right, Typhoon. We got very little time to make a difference here. Hey, my teammate just killed a gas truck. I can see the T3 running up on my teammate here. Oh, the FL got my teammate as well. Bad news. Bad news, dude. Is that going to be enough? I think he's going to burn to death. 30 seconds left. A uh, thousand pound bombs for Britain are the equivalent to 250s for any other nation, so... How about you? Oh, he's dead. Well, there you go. GG. Uh, we tried it. It was fun. Find one. It's a BT. It's not friendly. Awesome. <laughs> Kids. I just seen an M18. I'm really surprised he never died to that, but he is facing us, so... Something else just shot me. I'm gonna die here. Yeah, teammate help me. Hello, SU. Oh, that's my whole turret. Thank you. Yeah, that's... That's not great. Come on, Odd. He's not doing so great. There's a friendly Spitfire after him now as well. Again, just a, a random light tank that turned up. There's something on there. A firefly. That Sherman's going to try and repair his friend, right? And this might give us a decent opportunity to get some side shots into him. His friend can't help him right now. I don't know why I can't pin this guy all of a sudden. <laughs> there you go, GG. <laughs> This is actually really difficult to track enemies with. I knocked his tail off anyway. He's dead, but I expected more damage. Okay, we absolutely annihilated that guy. He's compressing. Good. I expected a lot more from this skink. It's just sad that it ended up in the British tech tree, which is quite like the French one where everything gets shunted up in BR or their RP3 rockets get nerfed into the ground and makes them not a really fun nation to play. Also, solid shot? Why? Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching today. If you haven't already left a like on the video, if you could please do so, it helps me out massively. And don't forget to subscribe.
so you can see some more old boys. As always, a huge shout out to everyone who supports the channel over on Discord and Patreon. To all the tier threes on Patreon, that is Toast McGee, Gigi Bruh, Sexy, Frost, Audible, Bo, Bofe, Destari, Fearless, Germ, thank you very much. <laughs> Gifted Greed, Jimmy, Marushin, Squeezel, Stoyan, and Terribad. And to everyone over on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Eric Fear, Jesse Mills, Paul Winthrix, The Tackle Guy, FTN Watermelon, Shane McGuire, George Cabrera, thank you dude, Anders Stormwind, Brandon, aka The Flying Pickle, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Handsome Tatia, Kim the Salt Lord, Coyle Mitany, Ralph, Rage, Tactonic, Tanks Gone Well, TV Tizen Atomic, Vanny and Warpig, Shaf, Elysia, Mortarin, Stoyan, J. Tormey, David, Pyrophoric, Shmoo, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye-bye.